A very warm welcome, my dear students. In today's English class, we'll continue with the lesson "The Fox and the Stork." Today, we will do the phonics junction, which is on page number hundred nine and ten of your book, words with G H sound. So let's get started, and take a list of words: ghost, spaghetti, enough, high, long hand. Now, if you take a look at this, the first thing you notice is that. G H is sometimes in the beginning of the word, sometimes in the middle of the word, and sometimes in the end of the word. And every time we pronounce these words, we hear a different sound of G H. Now let's observe them one by one. Ghost. Ghost is our first word. What is the sound? What can you hear clearly when you pronounce the word ghost? G ghost. We hear a sound of G, a hard G. So most of the times, when G H is placed in the beginning of the word, it is pronounced as hard G. Moving on to the next word, our next word is spaghetti. Spaghetti. Now G H is in the middle of the word, as you can see, it is in the middle of the word. What sound can you hear again? Yes, spaghetti. You can hear the sound of hard G. So sometimes. When G H is in the middle of the word, it is pronounced as hard G, right? Moving on to the next, we have straight, straight. Now, if you take a a look at this word, we have G H in the middle, right? And uh, what sound can you hear? Straight. We can hear no sound. G H is silent. We cannot hear. Either of the sounds, nor G, and nor do we hear the sound of H. So we actually cannot hear anything. So when G H is in the middle of the word, it can be silent as well. Moving on to the next, enough, enough, and as you can see, G H is in the end of the word here. We have it in the end. And what can you hear? Can you hear the sound of a hard G? Enough, no. Is G H silent? No. Actually, what you can hear in the end is the sound of letter F, F. So in English, sometimes when G H is in the end, it is pronounced as F, as in enough, enough, right? So moving on to our next word, we have high, 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 and again you can see that G H is in the End of the word, right? You can see here it is placed in the end of the word, and the sound is not that of f, in spite of the fact that g h is in the end. It is silent. We cannot hear it. So sometimes when g h is in the end, it is silent as well. Moving on to our next word, our last example, long hand, which is a compound word. What are compound words? Association of two words. Here we have long. Long and hand, right? So this is a special case. In this case, the sound is not G H. Here we have two words, long and hand. So we hear both the sounds separately in two words, long and hand, right? So I hope you remember when G H is in the beginning of the word, what happens? G H is pronounced as Hard G, right? When it is in the middle of the word, right? When it is in the middle of the word, like in straight, G H is silent, but not all the time. As I gave you an example of spaghetti, where G H is in the middle, but it is pronounced as a, a hard G, right? Then coming to high, when G H is in the end of the word, it is silent. Right, but not all the time. Like in enough, it is in the end of the word and it is pronounced as f. Right now, in the end, we have compound words like long hand, where both g and h are heard. Now let's practice uh, some gh words. We'll start with the hard g, ghost, ghost, spaghetti. Spaghetti, ghastly, 
ghastly afghanistan now the f sound when gh is pronounced as f enough cuff laugh rough when gh is silent this list is longer than the other list drought fought slaughter straight sigh eight light bright neighbor now in the end the compound words long hand egg head big headed i hope you understood the sound of gh in each of these sections and had a good class with me thank you have a good day